Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to get get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to bring you more fascinating science, de science demonstrations. Today's video is on biology, a demonstration in biology. Diatoms. What are diatoms? Diatoms are single cell algae. Let's get to the demonstration. This is a picture of, a, of diatoms. Diatoms are single-celled algae that have transparent silica or glass shells of intricate patterns. Diatoms contain chlorophylls A and C that turn light energy from the sun into sugar called glucose. Together with glucose and water, diatoms supply all of their nutrient needs. In photosynthesis, diatoms produce 20 to 30 percent of the oxygen in the atmosphere that we breathe. There are up to two million different species of diatoms, and more different species of diatoms are being detected frequently. Diatoms produce long chains of fatty acids that larger zooplankton, aquatic insects, and whales can feed on, both in freshwater and marine water. Diatoms range from 2 micrometers to 500 micrometers. 500 micrometers is the length of which only a, a half a millimeter long, or about the width of a human hair. So a large diatom is only a half of a, milli, half of a millimeter. Yet they possess beautiful patterns in their silica shell. Diatoms live in oceans, lakes, ponds, and even wet soils. Diatom shapes allow them to either float or attach to a substrate to live. Diatoms divide once a day to once every two weeks, producing two new daughter cells which are smaller than the parent cell. Diatoms can enlarge, however. Diatoms reign, their, regain their maximum size through sexual reproduction and through the creation of a structure called an oxospore which is a type of diatom that has silica bands called perizonia rather than a rigid silica cell wall. The perizonium allows the diatom to expand to its maximum size. Perizonium are found in the smaller size diatoms. There's a verse in the Bible, Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things that you know not. I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you know not. I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you know not. I hope that you can see in my science videos the intelligent design that has gone into the creation of plants of the planet and the universe. I hope that you can see how, with the modern development of the microscope through Leeuwenhoek, the small microscopic design and engineering that goes into one-celled life, as well as seeing all the trillions of cells that make up the macroscopic animals, plants, and fungi. Creation is evidence of an all-powerful God. Next time that you walk through the woods and see all of the trees, plants, and animals, Think of the trillions and trillions of cells that make up the life. God is awesome. Now let's look at the diatoms under the microscope.
I don't see a diatom through the camera, but I can see the diatom through the microscope. I don't know if you can see the diatom under the microscope. This is 400, 480 times magnification. Now we're under 100 times magnification. The diatoms are too faint to see. Let's go back under 480 times magnification. Here are some diatom shells. Can you see them? I don't think you can. They're too small. This is the microscope slide that contains the hundreds of diatoms on it. The diatoms are lacking chlorophyll, the ones that are under the microscope. You are simply observing the silicon shells. That's like looking at glass. You can see right through it, so it's too difficult for the camera to pick up under the microscope, even under 100 times magnification. The diatoms are best seen under 480 times magnification and better yet under 1000 times magnification, the magnification for bacteria observation. Bacteria are the smallest animals, or, or uh, monera rather, they're not animals, they're monera. Kingdom Monera under Whitaker's classification scheme. You have different types of bacterial colonies, that's how they're identified. You have coccus, dicoccus, streptococcus, long chains of cocci. You have staphylococcus, clumps of cocci. You have bacillus, a bat shaped bacteria. You have spirochetes, a spiral shaped bacteria. These are algae. Diatoms are algae, however, but they are very small. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals saying, I'm sorry you couldn't see the diatoms under the microscope, but always remember one thing, and that is to keep looking down.